Hey there YouTube, uh, I just thought I'd put one up here with my screencaster today. I don't want to seem like I'm ignoring what's going on. I call myself Solar Max, and I uh, want to make sure that you get some of the updates. And I and, and I was, don't want to repeat what some of the other good guys out there are doing, like uh, SO Suspicious Observer or uh, BP Earth, who's doing some pretty good stuff too. But I wanted to point out here, you got the magnetogram, but look, you got the number of sunspots, which is 55. We've got right now only C flaring right now. Uh, let me just go ahead and enlarge that. And how many sunspots are actually facing Earth? And you say, well, why is that important? Well, let's uh, go all the way down. So here's the graphs. I'll show you that really quick. Uh, the uh, BZ was on its way up. It's kind of like on its way down again. Um, Everybody's been looking at the uh, spiral. I'll go ahead and click on that for you right quick. Usually my computer's pretty quick about it. Okay. And this has been updated. It's updating there on the left again for you. This is uh, where you want to pay some attention. Look at this here. All this energy right here. I mean, imagine if Earth was just a little bit over and, and taking all of that, okay, at that velocity. Okay, that's why this one is kind of important too, where you can watch our, <laughs> and there you can see whether or not we're getting, see, I've got a direct hit here, then a direct hit up here, but see the energy that forms back behind it? Okay, it's still coming our way. Okay, first, there's not much, okay. But first, we get a direct hit and another incoming wave here. All right, and we are going to have a lot of Earth-directed uh, activity, and the reason why I wanted to do this video really... <laughs> Uh, let's go back one more. It's, see, now this graph is pretty much up to date. But see here, let's go live to it. All right, we're getting a lot of interference from this. A lot of frequency interference and a lot of alerts on this. Now, if you're a mariner, uh, say out here, <laughs> you're probably not going to have very good communications. But anyway, we're having degradation that's coming even strong off of the North Pole. And that's when you know we are uh, getting some attenuation like you wouldn't believe, okay? Um, it's probably not very healthy to be outside, uh, actually, I like down here if you're in the Antarctic, but who's watching me down there, right? Um, but this is something I have not seen uh, pointed out, the absorption rate. And, uh, and as you can see, here's your graph down there at the bottom. It was actually a little bit stronger earlier, so uh, if you went back to this map here... Uh, but we are uh, having these uh, radio emissions, see, alert, type 2 radio emissions, okay? And it's associated with the uh, CMEs, okay, and the flaring events, okay? And I like solarham.net because it has just about everything you need right here. And we have three of the sunspot, sunspot groupings that are beta, gamma, delta, as you can see, and one that's beta, gamma. And the uh, 775 and 77, which are next to each other. Uh, and these do have some good mixing. Uh, and and I've never really seen the M class rate that, that high, 75%. And M's are pretty strong, folks. I mean, everybody wants the apocalyptic X flare, and then we've been seeing those too. All right. And that's really what started this whole, uh, what I like to say, uh, feedback effect. All right, when you got this many sunspots facing Earth, you're going to have the uh, interruption with communications, whether it be satellite phones, satellite, satellite, satellite to Earth, cell phones, uh, short band radio is really like if you're a mariner out there and you're trying to communicate with each other in bases and et cetera, and ports, uh, you're going to have some problems. You've got the K index, which is going up, and um, it's actually coming back down a little bit. See the uh, protons? This is what's causing the interference. All right. And you see that deviation here for sure, and uh, and I expect that to actually stay elevated, folks. So uh, again, I get out here to solarham.net. It's a good conglomeration about everything you need, and it goes right to the uh, the sites. Now I notice that if you try to go out and do the uh, Soho movies, you can't get them. It's hard. They they uh, have ser server interruptions. So is this more a government? Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, how would you say management of our IT systems and run amok <laughs> and uh, also it says Halloween Superstorm Anniversary I, I thought I'd point this out to you 
uh, on October 28th of 03, we had an X-17. All right, right at Earth. And it, and it led to extreme geomagnetic storm a day later. So, uh, yeah. Um, so what we're getting now uh, is uh, very unusual, though, because it's, it's so much uh, in between. And now we're taking Cs, but that'll maintain this proton uh, level here, especially if we bump back up into the Ms again. So don't always uh, look out for those X flares. That's why you should always have this bookmarked and go out and take a daily look. And the solar flare risk is phenomenal. I, you know, solar max uh, <laughs> vernacular here. Uh, I wanted to point that out, man. Uh, we could go into blackout. This can affect uh, electrical grids, too. If these two merge like this and this will come down right over America really easy. All right, Canada's probably ex experiencing some interesting effects as well. Well, uh, that's my quick report for you. Uh, that proton alert, man, you should uh, keep an eye out for that. That will cause some problems. Thanks, guys. Take care.